my name was Dylan Logan. I'm fighting uh, Bellator Dublin, 22nd of February. Uh, I'm fighting the featherweight division. I'm currently 4-3, 2-0 uh, with Bellator and 4-1 in on my last five. Uh, my mixed martial arts hi history uh, started when I was eight years old. I started competing in uh, Kempo Karate. Uh, done that right on up till I was about 12, 13. Won, won the world championships, came home, done a couple of uh, tournaments around the local scene and kind of just want, wanted something else. So I went, went to uh, kickboxing done the same for about a year or two, competed, had a few fights and then I was training out in the gym out in uh, Kildare, just like a little shed, uh, Kildare MMA and uh, Connor came down for the seminar, he came down with Joey Bresnan and stuff like that so he came down, went to the seminar and then straight away after the seminar I was like, I want to do MMA. So I <laughs> went working for the summer, saved up a few quid, came up, this was, I just finished my leaving cert, worked that summer and when everyone else was off to college, I went off up to SPG. I had about five, six hundred euro paid whatever fees I could and uh, just put the head down and start putting the work in and that was about six years ago now. I think this is my sixth year here, so it's been, been good so far. So well, I'm only starting, I'm only starting. I started, I had my pro debut on my 24th birthday up on Clown Wars. I fought a fella, Daniel Rosiski, if I'm saying his name right. Tough guy, um, big, big uh, wrestler. He's Greco Roman. Um, didn't go my way, wasn't fully committed. No, no excuse. A man showed up and put the work on me, got the job done. But outside of the gym, I was, wasn't committed. I was having a laugh with the boys, out partying. And, Doing that again for my second fight, and then I was actually out in Bowman the hospital with Dan Healy, and I was sitting in the hospital after. And this is you know, zero and two, it's a shady start. Sitting there with me dad in the hospital, and I was just like, like ah, it's one or the other, you know what I mean? It's you can't be with the boys, ha having the crack on the weekends, and then going back serious on Monday. So I just knocked all that in the head. That was about two and a half years ago. So two and a half years ago, I was just like, right, all in on this. Now, the first two years of training, I was all in, but then I got a little bit of success in the amateur scene, won a couple of titles, kind of got too big for my boots, you know what I mean? A young fellow with a, a few followers and th thought it was the business, and um, just knocked everything on the head, put the work in, and then just started getting the wins. Looking forward to one of my last five, and I, I truly believe I haven't shown a tap of what I can do. The Bellator experience has been phenomenal for me. It's been the equivalent, I'd compare it to like the Premier League. You know when you see guys going to matches and they're getting like show forward, back and through the arena and stuff like this. Like we, we get in fight week, everything's sorted, people dropping field up and down to the room. It's just the way I looked after it was unbelievable. And then the arena, the event itself, it's just world class, unbelievable. Uh, being part of SPG, uh, of course, we're one of the biggest teams in Europe and uh, Bellator have focused mainly on us for the European market. It, it's great. It's um, the, the buzz in the gym. Every, everybody has an opportunity now. It's a life-changing opportunity. We're all going from fighting on local shows, getting two, three hundred quid to it. Now we can make a good living. You know what I mean? That's, that alone, everyone's just driving together and pushing each other on. We, we can see, you know what I mean? We have the looks of Pedro fighting for a world title. Peter's a fight away from fighting for a world title. All these people, James, main event and selling out, we can see it, it's there, you know what I mean? All we have to do is put the work in. The lads haven't done anything different than what we're doing, you know what I mean? We're all doing the same stuff, learning from the same man, doing the same rounds, so we'll get it. We'll get there eventually, you know what I mean? The buzz is unbelievable. And like marching down to the arena together, if, if he's coming in for a spar, look, when we come in for our spars now, everybody's around the cage, John's reffing, Dave's there as well. It's a fight. You know what I mean? So by the time we got down to the arena, it just feels like we're going to the gym, to the training day. Familiar faces, it's, un it's unbelievable.
The, the energy in SPG now in the build up to this Bellator show is absolutely crazy. We have Pedro. Pedro is gonna he's gonna beat people 100. percent I can see, you can see. I know when you're talking to someone, I can see it in him. He's gonna beat people. So we have world champion there, and then we have James main event and Peter. He, we have so many of us all pushing a big fights. You know what I mean? Break into that American market. So it's exciting times. Exciting times. And like coming in in the morning, I coming in. Like I came into that session today, broke up. I had strength and conditioning this morning two sessions a day for the last three, four weeks. So, and then if the likes of Pedro, you don't want to bag with him, and you're like, Dave, you could call a combination, whatever it is, one, two, and you're like, I go, he goes, I go, he goes. And like, you've seen the work he's putting in. If you're not putting that fucking work in, he'll let you know. You know what I mean? Pedro doesn't mess about, so the feed off that is unbelievable. Yeah, and they have all these heads. They say, yeah, you are who you are around, you know? So yeah. I'm around greatness. Any, anybody that does consistent work with Avi, when, when they go in the fight, their hands are sharp. And that, there's no other way about it. They're fit, they're strong, and they're ready to travel. Every single day, I come in, I do an 11 o'clock session, rounds with the lads, 12 o'clock then, on the pads with Avi, back, coaching nice for the evening, and I smash the session before I leave. It's a long day, but it's going to be worth it. Yeah, my last fight I fought, Adam Gustav. He's, he's a tough guy, he's a tough guy, he's experienced. He's got rounds in there with some good lads. I was happy to get the finish, I was happy with how composed I was able to stay. Each fight I find myself getting a little bit more comfortable and showing a few more tools, so I'm looking forward to going now composed and showing a little bit more of my arsenal now this time, you know? So, really working the hands with Davey, so looking forward to letting the hands fly. Come on! Right now, I'm kind of just, you know what I mean, kind of shapeless. I kind of, whatever they, they present me, I kind of drift around it and try to find the solution to it. I, don't, I used to come in, obviously coming in from the karate background, world champion in karate. I used to come in sideways, bounce, bounce, bounce. But now it's like on toy style, boxing, rest. I want to mix it up, you know what I mean? You can't, if you come in and you're like, I'm a boxer, I'm going to plot forward like this. Someone's going to suss that out and then well, you're gonna have to change it up. I can do both stances. Like, you, honestly, you wouldn't tell the difference in, in my southpaw and my orthodox. And that's because we do one round orthodox, one round southpaw, one round orth and it has to be. You have to be balanced. It's not the it's not the nineties anymore when, when it was only starting. And if you were really good at one thing, you could. I don't think it's like that anymore. I think you have to be able to, to take opportunities as they present themselves, and I think that's what we do very well. You know, like a, a lot of guys, they have their moves and they, I, I was like this when I first started, I had a triangle and I'd, I'd just like pull guard and if I didn't hit it, I was fucked. <laughs> That's just, you know what I mean? I was striking and happy days if I hit the deck, triangles, yeah, oh, you were going to win. And uh, I was just, emotion, I was emotionally attached to that position. And it was like, because I was hitting it so often in the gym, I'd just up the go for it. And now I'm not, I'm not emotional towards any position. You know what I mean? If you're fighting something, and you have to fight it too hard, change and move on to something else. You know what I mean? Just be like water. <laughs> For my next fight now with Tom Mearns, I see you going one or two ways. I see you being nice and playful on the outside, picking him apart. He'll shoot and I'll sub him. Or we're getting nice and close. I'll take him down and I'll sub him. <laughs> That's how we see you going. That's one way or the other, I'm going to get him down and get the finish. Or he can take me down and I'll get the finish. Top, bottom, anywhere. You can start on my back. I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm putting in the work for it. So I've never worked hard, this hard for anything in my life. So I'm looking forward to going out and putting on a performance. Wherever it goes, if he wants to box, let's box. <laughs> You're seeing upstairs, I'm, I'm putting in the work, so. I'm tearing the go here.
one thing I've added in now, it used to be all about skill, and now skills do pay the bills, but in this game, you have to be an athlete, to a certain extent. You have to be able to push the pace for three, five minute rounds, and be able to redline, you know what I mean? And, and recover, you have one minute to do it. So if you don't train for this, which I wasn't doing before, before I was just coming in, tips happening on the back, hitting a couple of pads and then going into the scrap. I swear, this is what, I, from my pro debut, I've done no fight simulations. I was hitting the bleeding bag like a little low one, throwing little slaps, hitting pads, and then jumping in, thought it was the business. Up to, like you've seen up there, you don't get, and it's just harder, harder. There's no, like I wouldn't have been pushing myself like that. You know what I mean? I would have came in half of that and I would have been delighted with myself. So I, I see what the work's doing. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting in and reaping the rewards. So. Recently I've become a father and that has changed me in numerous ways. Um, in, in my head, look, I only have my daughter the last four months, but mentally I've been preparing for this since, since we found out. So before my debut in February, I've already known what I've been fighting for. I've been fighting for her. You know what I mean? So it's as cliche as it sounds, Nothing else matters. Like the days I wake up and I'm sore. And look, 100% I would have done this before. I would have woke up sore, would have checked my alarm, I would have said, fuck that, I'm going back to bed. Now I'm waking up and it doesn't matter how you're feeling, if you're sore, get up out of bed. You have, you know what I mean, you've life there to provide for. So it's serious business. And um, I love it, you know what I mean? But I don't know. I, I don't know. It's a game changer. I've built this for myself. Like I, I used to have to paint full time and then come in here and th that was killing me. Like it was killing me getting up at half seven, eight o'clock and going doing something that I didn't enjoy all day. You know what I mean? So now when I come in and I'm training, I'm enjoying it. I go home, I coach, I enjoy coaching, it's what I love. So it doesn't really feel like I'm working. Even the fights, I know this is gonna sound ridiculous, but I get more nervous for the spars in here than I do for the fights. The fight for me, the week before, I get the rest. <laughs> I get rest? Unbelievable. You know what I mean? I haven't fucking rested in I don't know how long. So a full week of rest, you're going in fresh, and then all I have to do is three, five minute rounds. And if I finish them, I don't have to do any more. In here, if I finish somebody, you get up and you finish your rounds. You know what I mean? So it's a, look at half day, or look at it. <laughs> that's, that's where I'm at. Yeah, the fight, in, in my opinion, will go in my favour, in the striking, I think he's, he's going to be a little bit out of range, a couple of snap kicks to the body, switch up to the head, keep him at the end of my shots, it will force the shot out of him. He's going to either shoot or try to push me to the fence, and I'm at getting really, really comfortable throughout my career. That's all people try to do to me. I throw a kick, they bum, bum rush me to the fence. So we'll see if he tries to do that, I'll have answers there. If he stays on the outside, my striking's going to do him in until he shoots, and I will get the sub. I'm sharp with the submissions, you know, so. Pope about done that John Kavanagh, so. You have so many eyes on you. Like, kids, you might, like I would have never thought about when I walk into the gym here, a kid's class that might be on, or some, one of the teens from the MMA class that might be doing the same classes. Like, they look up to it, and they, I would have been in the same boat. Like, I was, when I was amateur, I was texting the likes of Paddy on. I was texting these guys, oh, big fan, you know what I mean? Best look on the weekend. And you're watching them, and you're taking inspiration out of them. And you, you don't realise that after time, after you have a couple of fights, you start to put, you're in that position, so you have to carry yourself the way you'd like to, you know, when you're coming up the way you see somebody. Like they're not going around being a dickhead, putting stuff up online, saying, oh, fuck you, I'm going to punch your head in. Like, what, what's that about? It's a fight. There's no need for disrespect. Shake hands and just the best man will win. That's, that's how I see it now, you know? And maybe it's I'm at the, just maturing a little bit since I'm a father as well, you know? I don't, there's no need for it. It's a job. That's how I see it. This, this is my job. I don't need to get personal. You know what I mean? If someone takes shots at me, either that way, regardless if they take shots at me or they don't take shots at me, We've three, five minutes to sort this out, so whatever. My, my philosophy as a martial artist is wake up broke and you have to put the work in to earn your money, you know what I mean? No matter how much money you get in the bank, don't let it get to your head, just stay broke. <laughs> People are going around saying stay woke, fuck that shit, stay broke. In your head you have to stay broke and just put the work in, everything else will fall into place. And then, this isn't, I didn't lick this off stone, it's the people I'm around in here. 
But you know, and it's the likes of Pedro and Peter and all these boys just pouring. And it's the work I go get to see them train every day. That's just pouring in. It's hard work. That's the only way I can. They don't do anything else different. Just hard work. So. The feeling of walking out in the tree arena, and this is, no, I'm not going to lie to you. It doesn't, I, I don't let it, in my head, I've dimmed it down that much that I don't get a buzz. I, I've, you know what I mean? I've switched it off. I've played it that many times. Like the, the setup is the same as the four show. So I've so many days, every day I'm in here making the walk, making the walk, making the walk. When I'm sparring, I've made the walk, made the walk. So then when you go to do it, it's like, doesn't feel like I don't actually it's afterwards hand raised and you're like this is the business it's like blinkers off for a second and then you can switch off and enjoy it but until then I'm switched on and ready to go I don't really take it in as I'm walking which is you know what I mean Every, everyone to their own some people like to look around and take it in I'll do that after we'll get in and look <laughs> when I'm walking into, into a sparring I don't be like looking around and just in get me work done and then we can have a bit, bit of crack after. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to get three or four fights in, in, in this year. You know, Bell, Bell thought I think I've announced eight, eight, um, eight or nine um, European shows. That'd be amazing. Bounce over to London, get a show in. They will be back here before the end of the year. I don't know when, but I'll be on that, you know. So that'd be three. If another one pops up, brilliant. Activity, 100%. I want to be kept busy. Like the last couple of years, I've only ha had two or three fights maybe a year. This year, three or four, you know what I mean? I'm fresh, no injuries. I genuinely, and this is no bullshit, I feel like I'm on level one. And I'm not even being harsh on myself. It's like, I'm level one and there's so many more to go. You know what I mean? So, if I have another 10, 12 years left in this, just, just like that, climbing. That's it. That's what I say, right to the top. And I'm in no rush. You know what I mean? You just see lads and they're like, two or three pro fights in and they're like, give me a title shot. Fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, they build their experience. It's like boxing, you don't see boxers jumping in and fighting for world titles. Unless it's the likes of Lomachenko who's had like three or four hundred amateur fights. But you need to get experienced. And so, each fight I'm looking to take a step up, test myself. This next fight, of course, it's a step up. Six and three. Great record, experience. He's been in there with good guys. Went the distance with some good guys. So, that's all I can, that's all I can keep doing. It's getting my team to give me step ups. I keep taking steps up to the top. Step by step. Day by day. No, no rush, you know what I mean? You just see lads trying to come in, put the walk in today, I'll put the walk in tomorrow, and I'll wake up and then when it's time to go, the engine will be ready. <laughs> <laughs>